three, four, five, six, seven, hit, eight. One hit, two, three, hit, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight, one, go. I'm Po Shen I'm a math professor, and I travel the world finding math in unexpected places. One, two. I'm Robert Sienna. I've transitioned from an athlete to a coach about four years ago. Hey, good to How see you again. You? Great. Oh my gosh, I want you to meet my friend Chelsea. Hi, I'm Poe. Nice Hi. to meet you. I'm super excited to bring him in um, because his background is math and we use a lot of math in cheerleading, but we don't really think about it. We have never had a math professor come here and work out with the teams. Good. Watch your motions. Five, six, Watch your motions. Seven, bring it lower. Eight, Beautiful. Love Whoa. it. Cool. You guys are innately so talented and so skilled with all of the practice that you've done. I find it amazing to watch you guys. We're lucky enough to have him come in, check out this gym, check out you guys, and then get his perspective on what he thinks math could do to help us as cheerleaders. I called it mathleticism, because like, you know, math and athletes, mathleticism. We're gonna get a lot of mixed reactions. Some people may be like, ah, some people may be like, what? You know, in choreography, line, quarter, Half, those are fractions. There's a lot of math behind the all-star cheer. One, two, three, four. It's just really impressive how everyone is so aware of where they are. They're not doing the mathematical calculations. Well, they don't think they are. They don't think they are. They don't You're think right. they are. They are actually, they're like little calculators right now, little computers generating all of this and making sure that they are in the right spot at the right time. And I mean, not only are they going across the entire floor, they're doing it at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, look, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, five. Now, I want you to pay attention to these bases' arms. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch how they go from here. Sometimes right. the bases don't stop right here, right. but we want to make sure that they're going all the way up through that 180 degree angle. Got it. So that it supports the weight. We will say, girls, get your arms up. Or we could say, girls, get your arms at a 180 degree angle. One, two, three, four, five. I love how they all hit at the same time. They land the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if only they'd stay in the same line. Can ah. we help them with that geometry? Oh, well, that's about the center of mass, right? So the point is that you've got this center of mass. If you make sure that when you're moving, your center of mass is what's in the same place the whole time, then you'll be in good shape. The center of mass is like right here. So that'll keep you in line. So pretty much what he's saying is all your weight should be pulled into the center. So if you're trying to go back, okay, if you're going back, you're gonna get out of line. So whenever you stand up, stand straight up in your center of mass. You like that? I do. Try not to go back, because once you throw your head back, you're out of that line, okay? I wanna see these lines like start in a straight line and I wanna see it end in a straight line. By combining this basic physical principle with the geometrical visualization of where your axis is, just imagine you're the foosball person. An athlete who wants to make that turn might be able to know how to exactly pull themselves in. Nice. Can we do that again? When he said to use our core and to squeeze the back to go up and not throw your chin back, and like that actually helps. So I took the correction and I went up and I landed in the same spot. In general, whenever you feel like you're falling behind on something and that causes more and more errors to happen, that's the great time to say, hey, can we slow down the music? Take a breath. And then we use the fractions that you were talking about because each panel, you know, we have to split them into fractions. So sometimes we'll have people start on a quarter of the panel. So just like one fourth of the panel. So they have to be at a certain spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. So look where they landed. Right. All different spots. If you know where you're supposed to be halfway through, you can kind of problem solve it all the way back. Okay. Start wherever. If you're just doing a power hurdle, whatever, as long as you're hitting this on four, this line. Something as simple as knowing that if at the beginning you're here and at the end you're there, being able to see exactly where you're supposed to be at the halfway time point and use that as a mark that you must hit to finish. With cheerleading, we have to somehow make an illusion that it's symmetrical. Right. So we right. may have the shorter ones, the tiny girls, do two-step while right. the boys are just doing power hurdle. Right, 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 right. So th this is like the little the artistry in it that yeah, we have to no do. Kidding. So let's bring in the math and the artistry no to make kidding. it nice. One up, two, three, hands four, five, six, seven up, eight. Nice. Wow. They're not even that far off. Because all of you are athletes pushing to the limit of your ability. Whenever you push to the limit of your ability, it gets a little bit fuzzy at the very, very end. Honestly, the way I like to do things is to first figure out what that limit is and then dial it back a little bit. 
Once you dial it back a little bit, you know you can nail it. And then you have everything under full control. And it looks like one of the pieces you're really improving now is the synchronization, like hitting at the exact place yes, and time. Yes, the synchronization looks really, right. really nice. We can create the illusion of perfection by giving the breathing room exactly. to, you know, give or take for each person. Every small detail needs to be uh, symmetrical. It, it, it. Perfect. Do y'all feel the results? Do y'all feel the difference? Because of the height and weight, we just we land differently. So he interpreted it in that way so we could see it and like view it better. And then we slowed down? Yeah, and then we slowed it down so he said that it gave us an extra speed because the first jump is most likely not gonna be on time because of the height and weight, but like with that extra beat that we can catch up and like be able to be on time again. Now that we are all consciously slowing it down, you guys look like one. You're moving as one unit. That's the goal. Y'all should be scoring at a 9.8, 9.9 in jumps right here. If y'all jump like this, okay? Yeah, crazy. We all hit at the same time, so we all went down at the same time, and it just made it like more um, equal. We all looked as one rather than like popcorny. So that really helped. Um, we incorporated math into that. We're gonna put you center with them, and you're gonna do the jumps with them. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, hit, eight. One hit, two, three, hit, four, five, six, seven. What kind of math do you see in this? You do the action jumps on the even numbers. The action jumps. Right? So as soon as I figured that out, I was like, okay, now I can do it. Because otherwise, I was like, let's just follow what these people are doing. And then you're lagging behind. Yes. So that's oh my it. God. So Y'all. Yeah. Did you hear that? What? I know. Whenever you watch people at Choreo, I'm saying if y'all watch people, it's gonna put you behind. And he just picked that up immediately. One, two, three, four, five, look, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, four, six. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Do you push off also, or do you let them do all the throwing? Kind of like half and half. Because if you're coming, if you don't get enough light, you're gonna come straight down. You're exactly. Gonna come and you better do this. Yes. That's neat. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you can visualize the pathway of what you need to do, you can execute it. And when you started doing this, uh, when you switched between different bases, did you have to recalibrate every time? Every flyer is different. Like yeah, every flyer flies, flies differently. Different. Yeah. So you have to adjust to how they fly mm -hmm. so they can stay in the air and they can learn how to trust you. One person messes up. That's right. The whole thing messes That's right. It's like a domino right. effect. Thank you. So you guys are going to make nationals? Uh, hopefully, hopefully, yes. yes. Hopefully, yes. That's our goal. Poe has taken time to teach us, and you know, we learned a lot from him. I wanna see what he has learned from us. So, you are going to fly in a basket toss. Okay? So all of us, everybody put your arms up. They will be spotting to make sure you're okay. Five, six, seven, eight, one, stand up, three, catch them. <laughs> that was so good! Thank you all. I mean, I learned so much today. I think you guys really have this skill of understanding space and time so well, so down. Math is kind of just everywhere. You might not realize it, but it's really everywhere. And you can use it in your everyday life, including school, obviously. And you even cheer because, you know, you always have to use your arms or whatever. It helps you pull up and it's always math. And then when you started like saying like oh well you know we use fractions because like halves and quarters and I'm like oh yeah. I'm like oh yeah that we does do make use sense. fractions yes. oh, yeah, we yeah. do use math. I didn't even think of that like, until I was explaining like, it to like, Poe like I saw it more as a like this looks nice this is what we're gonna do not like yeah. oh the numbers work out so this is what we're gonna do so that's like the difference between the what and the why yeah. almost it's like yeah it looks good but. Like, why does it look good? Yeah. Once you dig into that why, <laughs> then you can be so much better. Because you're like, I understand why now. Okay, now let's make some really awesome what. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, it's really cool to have somebody from a different industry appreciate cheerleading like we appreciate it. So thank you, Poe, for just, for believing in us and for seeing so much in us and, and our athletes. And yeah, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert.